Hey everyone and welcome to a new plastic scanner update video. So with the plastic scanner project we're trying to make a device that can identify the most common types of plastic and this to make plastic sorting and recycling simpler and hopefully at the end of the day have more plastic recycled. So this is already update number four. April has passed and we just want to give you the highlights of last month. So in the beginning, Jure started with working on the software and the firmware. He's been working hard on all of the different challenges throughout the month. And basically he has started to make a, a graphical user interface. And there you can see the different measurement points and you actually get a graph, like a, a spectra. So that's really cool. Soon he will be able to put that online and have you guys, the community, be able to give feedback on it to help improve it, make it look better or make it perform better. So yeah, that's, uh, that's some exciting news on the software. Um, for me personally, I haven't been in the Netherlands for so much. Uh, for the last few weeks, I've been here in the Himalayas, setting up a plastic recycling workspace. Um, and that's also why I'm so out of breath. <laughs> Because at this altitude, the oxygen is already rather low. So yeah, it's very intense to talk a lot, to exercise. But it's also a very, very beautiful place. That's also why it attracts a lot of tourists, a lot of people who want to visit this place and experience such wild nature. The only downside is, is that they also bring a lot of stuff with them, especially the water bottles. So on a hike, they easily drink up to 30 bottles. And the problem is that currently there's no solutions for this. So they just get burned. And our goal here is to set up a plastic recycling workspace with the Sagramata Next project, which is here somewhere. <laughs> and that should make it possible to recycle the PET bottles, to have th those be able to brought back to the airport and also the bottle caps uh, molten into new products, souvenirs and other products that, yeah, people can use again. And the third update is Pranav. He is a guy from Shanghai and he is among the first ones to actually recreate the, the plastic scanner development board 2.1 and he's gonna source everything in Shanghai and that's also super interesting because we're gonna see if he can source all the components if it gives the same measurement values and also yeah how the whole replicating experience is with the documentation that we have now so this should also improve a lot of the things in documenting and in replicating the plastic scanner and then the last update is about the workspace. So we have partnered up with the guys over at the Biosphere Solar. They're making a circular solar panel and we're now having a collaborative workspace where we can build a lot of new prototypes and yeah, basically work together, do brainstorm. So expect to see a lot more videos from that. And hopefully I can overlay some of the fuse the shots from the workspace so you can get an idea of that and yeah that's basically it for this month the next month i will be back in the netherlands with a lot more energy and a lot more breath and then we're going to do a lot of testing and seeing with different plastic samples how they react see how the graph on the software changes and yeah be able to give more of the exact details on the functionality of the plastic scanner so stay tuned for that and up to now enjoy the view because out here it's absolutely beautiful it's a bit of a cloudy day but it's so wild see you